Welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation. Today we are going to understand about the post correspondence problem. I am your instructor Poonam Patel. Let's start to understand post correspondence problem. So suppose what is the post, post correspondence problem? So we can say that a post correspondence problem is an undecidable problem. Now what is that? So post correspondence problem which consists a two list and it consists two list of strings that are of equal length over a given input set. So this two list, two list suppose we can represent as A equal to W1, W2, W3 up to Wn and next list which we have represented over here capital B is equal to X1, X2, X3 up to Xn. So there are two list we have given uh, which have equal length uh, we can say that number of strings are equal. Uh, now uh, W1, W2, W3 are the set of strings. Now we have uh, defined then there exists a non-empty set of integer like I1, I2, I3 up to In such that means that W1, W2, W3 up to Wn is equal to x1, x2, x3 up to xn. So we have to find out the solution like i1, i2, these are the, uh, we can say that non-empty set of uh, integers i1, i2, i3 such that w1, w2, w3 up to wn is equal to x1, x2, x3 x up to xn. Now let us understand this concept in more specific way like so what we are going to do so we have to find out a sequence of number finite number of uh, dominoes so a and b is actually a by b is called as a dominoes to form the strings such that the top and bottom strings are exactly equal here we can say that the post uh, we can say post correspondence problem is actually a undecidable problem is basically contains a dominoes tiles and elements so what is the meaning of dominoes so dominoes is uh, represented as a pair of element so here you can see i have given the example of dominoes so here a so this is called a domino space and we have already studied about that the post correspondence problem is containing two lists so here i have this is a list it means that it contain two strings a b and C and B list containing which is which is represented by Y AC AC and B so here you can see okay so it means that this is called the we can say that this is called the domino pair and this list we can also represented by in this form always remember this so this is called the domino pair and this form we can also represented in the form of table so this form is also represented in this table form so here you can see that this is my x list this is my y list and this is my first domino pair this is my second domino pair a a b this is called the numerator and this is called the denominator numerator so numerator value are represented by x list and denominator value as represented by y list here in this example you can see okay so always remember this element this is numerator and position uh, this is denominator like this a b by a c c by b so first element first deno first element uh, numerator divided by first element so first element of list is divided by a first element of second list second element of list is divided by a second element of list like this so we can use this dominoes so we can use this uh, we can use each dominoes many times to find out the solution in a such a way that top string would top top strings is equal to a bottom strings so let me understand this thing by using the example. So here I have given two list. So A, B, there are two list are given. Now I want to find out among this dominoes in a such a way that I want to find out the solution in a such a way that the top number, top string is equal to a bottom string. So here, as we know, what are the domino pairs? So first divided by triple one numerator denominator numerator one zero so this is my first next is one zero 
वन वन ट्रिपल वन अब मूव वन जीरो एंड द लास्ट वन इज वन जीरो एंड जीरो सो दिस इज ए लिस्ट विच रिप्रेजेंट द न्यूमिनेटर एंड मिलियम एलिमेंट्स एंड बॉटम लिस्ट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय डिनोमिनेटर विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बी सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द डोमिनो स्पेस दिस इज जीरो to find out the solution so always remember so always remember choose those dominoes which contain the in a first step choose those dominoes in a first step where the elements are same like so here you can say 1 0 1 0 are same 1 0 is not some we cannot take this uh, uh, this dominoes at the first step okay can we take yes you can take okay but here i have taken this dominoes okay so here you can see these are match these are match 1 0 1 0 now here triple 1 so you now what are the uh, numerator value it contains so yeah, so what are the remaining things the top uh, top string it contains the triple 1 so we have to find out in a denominator which contain a 1 so here you you can see this is 0 this is a 1 okay so if we take 1 0 so here you can see all three ones so we can take this dominoes like this so here you can see so this match this match this match these are matched these three ones are matched okay now this one so which uh, dominoes we need to take so see the bottom and which contain a we can take this one also and this one also so here i have taken this one okay so here i have taken this pair here i have taken a this pair okay so one triple one so these are matched these are matched this one are matched this one are matched now this one are matched this one are now one so we have to main uh, we have to match again and uh, we have to find again string because it is a unequal length top uh, top uh, top strings and unequal length of numerator and denominator so we need to find out uh, again dominoes which dominoes we need to take so either you can take this one or this one or this one so we have to take this this thing so 1 0 so here i have taken so this is equal this one equal this one equal this one equal and this are also equal so if you see if you write down the top strings so here top string is 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 and bottom string what is 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 one, 1 0 so if you see if you see the strings of top and bottom both are same so string when the string or when the strings from the top and bottom both are same we can say that we have find out the solution so what are the solution that we find out so here in this problem we have find out the solution sequence you can see suppose we have given the uh, dominoes 1 numbering dominoes 2 dominoes 3 in the sequence you have to give the number of for each dominoes so what are the solutions so first we have select the first we have select the second dominoes then which pair we have to select first dominoes then which pair we have to select first dominoes again then which pair we have select the third dominoes so the solution for this sequence is 2 1 1 3 we can say that 2 1 1 3 so we can say that we can find out the solution for this problem so we can in this way we can in this way we can solve the first correspondence problem so i hope this concept is clear to you now let us take the another example so here i have given a post correspondence problem with the two list a equal to 0 1 1 1 and the next is 1 1 1 0 1 sometimes it will be give in the table form so always remember so first is representing the numerator list and the second is representing the denominator so this is my domino pair 0 1 divided by triple 1 1 divided by 1 0 and this 1 divided by so first pair 0 1 divided by triple 1 the second pair is 1 divided by 0 1 0 sorry and the second a third pair last 
one is divided by double one like this. So there are three domino pair given. Now we want to find out the solution in a such a way that the top string is equal to the bottom strings. So suppose we want to take a first pair in the first pair because the first symbol in top and bottom are not matched. So can we take the first pair? No, we do not need to take a first pair because the first the first symbol of this domino pair is zero in the top and bottom is one. So both are not matched. So we cannot take this pair, but we can take either second pair or third domino pair. So start, we are going to find out the solution by using this pair. So here I have, so there are two cases possible. So here I have taken the first, uh, here I have taken, so our first denominator is zero one triple one. This is one. Next is one one zero, and then this is second, and this is third. I think so. One upon double one. Okay. Now start with the taking. Here I am going to find out the solution by using this by using and uh, first step by using the. Uh, here I am going to find out the solution by taking the second domino pair. Because the uh, first element of top and bottom both are same. That, that's why I am taking this pair. So one by one zero. Next, I'm going to take the pair zero one. So here these are matched. These are matched. Now zero is remaining. So we want to take uh, those domino pair which have a uh, first uh, string as a zero. So we cannot take this pair, this pair because both are one. So we can take the first domino pair zero one. So one zero are matched, one zero one are matched. Now denominator. So here bottom string contain double one. So we need to take uh, those dominoes or uh, dominoes pair which contain a double one or single one. Like first element is one. So uh, this is not because first element is zero. So can we can take this one or this one also. So here I have taken the second domino pair. So this one. So one zero one are matched, one zero one are matched. One are matched, one are matched. Now double one zero. So we need to take uh, those dominoes pair which contain first element is one. So we can take the third domino pair over here. So in a such a way that we are going to take the number of steps like you can see over here. Now I'm not going to explain in uh, this thing in a detail, but if you solve this problem in a such a way that we cannot uh, find out the solution, this process is repeated, repeated, repeated. So the third domino pair is if you see over here the third domino pair is repeated repeated at the end if you see the last three domino pair where we have taken the third domino pair is repeated repeated and it is continuous or repeated because it contain the element first so it is repeated repeated so we can say that this case where we have not find out the solution and where uh, find out the no, so in this case, this uh, may go uh, infinite loop. Suppose uh, this process is repeated, but we do not find out any solution for this problem. So this, if you take, uh, we can say that if you take the second uh, pair also, if you take the second pair also the same way, this uh, process is a undefined. Uh, this process is repeated. We can say that. So this is. So we can say that this is the post correspondence problem is an unsolvable problem. We can say that. So if you start with the second pair, so we cannot get the solution. Start with the using third pair, we cannot get the solution. So we can say that so this a post correspondence problem does not have any solution for this list. So I hope this concept is clear to you. I hope this concept is clear to you. Thank you all.